Hello everybody, here we are today talking about how some early season injuries and a slow start to a player could impact NHL awards at the start of the season or by the end of the season. So before we start, please make sure to subscribe to me if you're new to hockey, whatever the case may be. That being said, let's get on into it. So right now there are a few injuries that I do think will impact the awards by the end of the year. Those being Connor McDavid and Andre Vasilevsky. Connor McDavid, a guy that is going up there and won the heart multiple times, a guy that's going to go up there and win Ted Lindsay. He's probably going to do all right when it comes to getting awards at the ceremony. He's going to probably come away with multiple awards. He is slated to miss some time and may be out until early November. Could be later. We really don't know at the moment. Uh, Coach Woodcroft recently said that they're not exactly sure when he'll be back and that he could miss the Heritage Classic. That's in a couple of days. So... Again, you're kind of looking at the situation and thinking, well, that could open up the door a little bit. And then you have Andre Vasilevsky. He is slated to miss about two months of the season. I don't want to say that Vesna is out of the question for Vasi, but again, if you're going to miss two months of the season, it's going to be hard to, you know, kind of justify it. If guys have similar stats to you and they played more games, you're probably going to see the voters pick the guys that played more games if their stats are relatively close. Meaning Vassie, like McDavid, are going to have good years, are going to have to have really good years in order to win the awards. I feel like McDavid is definitely going to be more likely because A, he'll miss more time, and B, I think with the offensive numbers, it's going to be easier for McDavid to be able to get the stats that we'd say, well, whereas Vassie might have to have a very low two point something goals against average to take home some trophies. So who exactly does that open the door up to for these awards? Well, I think it opens up multiple avenues for different guys and I think for the heart or the Ted Lindsay you're looking at somebody like Jack Hughes right now that is just taking the league and making it his own he's got 17 points through seven games played right now he is a guy that you know his rookie year a lot of people were concerned a lot of reason to be concerned 20 some points and like 60 games played he even admitted he felt like he was getting pushed around things have gone really well for him the past two years Last year was a career year for him, and guess what? Devils did pretty well when he was there. Ended up having their best regular season in franchise history and won their first postseason series since 2012. Here he is now looking to have a career year after having a career year. And when a guy like McDavid is set to miss some time, maybe two, three weeks, maybe more, who knows? You know, hopefully he's going to be okay. You could see a guy like Jack that is young and continuously being able to grow as a player go out there and say, you know what, this is my year. I'm going to take home some awards and make this Devils franchise proud. Here he is, you know, through the not even 10 game mark and he is well on his way to probably hitting the 100 point mark and then probably going past that. So will he be able to do that? My answer is probably yes and this Devils side is very talented. So his gain could be McDavid's loss as McDavid's going to have to catch up to him or pass him. Really couldn't tell you at this point, but we could see Jack bringing home the heart. Another guy that comes to mind is Nathan McKinnon. McKinnon is on an F side that probably could use him to play pretty well. They've started off the year really well. So if this team ends up going out there and winning the President's Trophy or he has a big year and they win their division and then they are able to be well suited for the playoffs. Of course, you're not supposed to take the playoffs into account. You're probably going to see McKinnon go up there and get votes for this. There's been some years in general all around where I think the guys that finished second behind McDavid are probably just, you know, looking up at this guy and wondering why it had to be them because McDavid would put up numbers that make you say, is this the 80s? Is this the early 90s? Are we looking at a Gretzky-esque, a Lemieux-esque player? Are we looking at a Yager-esque player? Maybe. And it really looks like that at this point because he seems to just keep getting better and better and better as time goes on. So right now, I would say if, that if you want to win the heart, if you want to win the Lindsay, then you probably need to go out there and you need to have a good start. Good thing that Jack has been able to do that. McKinnon probably well suited to be in contention for that award at this point in the season. Then with the Vesna, I think that it is a little bit more open, if I'm being honest. You have Vessi that is set to miss all that time. He's been contending for it before. Ignore my dog for jumping down. He's been kind of restless today. Anyway, you have Vasi that is contending for that in years past. He is set to miss time, meaning guys like Igor Shesterkin, who have won it before, probably going to be in the mix to go out there and win it. You have some other guys, too, that I think come to mind. Jake Ollinger, I don't think is necessarily a bad pick. A lot of times, these voters like wins. Dallas is well suited to be in a position where they could go out there and win games. Otter will probably be a part of that as well. He took the league by storm in the first round against Calgary Flames not too long ago. Dallas was able to make a run to the Western Conference Final. He is 
again, probably going to rack up a whole lot of Ws. Dallas is going to finish way high up there in the standings, probably at least top three in their division, maybe two, maybe even one and win their division. That is the stuff that voters like to see, and I would say that this year, Vessi's probably out of the Vesna talk, and we're going to see maybe some other guys go out there that aren't really the picks year in and year out to go out there and do it, and I would like to see who ends up getting this award by the end of the year. And then with the award like the Rocket Rashard, you're seeing a guy like Alex Ovechkin get off to a slow start this year. He has two goals through his first six games played, I believe, yeah, six games. He is a player that has won it definitely more than once and is chasing Wayne Gretzky's record. However, he had back-to-back -back games for the first time in his career with zero shots on goal. And everybody was saying, oh my gosh, are things going to fall apart? The team may not be good, but I think he will be good. At this point, he's on pace for 27 goals this season. You know how old he is. You know how good of a heater he can go on. He is probably going to be in the conversation, but I don't really think that he's the favorite necessarily to win it. You know, had it been a few years ago, I would say, yeah, he is a lock or a top favorite to go out there and win the award. My pick right now has been David Posternock, a guy that has seen some offensive talent leave his side through retirement, and he's been a great goal scorer last year coming off of a career year in terms of goal scoring. He's in the mix, but so is Alex Dabrinkit. Dabrinkit has the most goals in the NHL at this point with nine through seven games played. A guy that's been able to score 40-plus goals multiple times in his career. The Red Wings are off to a really good start, really in thanks in part to him and Dylan Larkin having good starts this season offensively. And to bring it, playing in his first season with the hometown team, how cool would it be to go out there and win the Rocket for this side that wanted you, that traded for you, and you were part of a potential turnaround where they make the playoffs and end a seven-year postseason drought? Not saying that Ovi is relatively out of the mix, but I'm saying with him having that slow start that he is just opening the gap or opening the ability for multiple guys to go out there and say, I'm going to go win it this year to bring it being one of those guys. So overall, what are my thoughts on this and the fact that you are having so many or not even so many, just a few guys that are big name players be injured and deal with their loss at this point in the season? I'm going to say it's not necessarily a bad thing. Yes, I don't want these players to be hurt. Yes, I want them to go out there and have really good years. But I'm looking at both of these guys in Vasilevsky and McGavin and saying, you know, they're probably going to be okay and they're probably going to go out there and have really good years. I wouldn't be opposed to seeing some new guys go out there and win the award. Jack Hughes, again, very well could have a big year and could have another season where the Devils look like they could win a Stanley Cup. As for the Vizna, I mean, I really wouldn't be opposed to Altinger going out there and winning it. There are multiple candidates for the Vizna that I'm not really bothered that if they won it, Shesterkin went out there and said, I'm going to go win it again. You got guys like Sorokin that could go out there and contend for it. It doesn't really bug me. As for the Rocket, again, it doesn't bug me. If Ovi doesn't go out there and win the Rocket, I'm not opposed to it. I just looking at it is not even a change of the guard for some of these awards but just more so the next step forward in some of the youth that's coming in here and how good they are. Looking at Jack Hughes, probably one of the faces of the league for the next decade, if not longer, looking at a guy like Dabrinkin. Maybe he is the face of the Red Wings to go forward as they try to get back to playoff contention. You know, with the Vesna, if Ottinger is able to go there, Talos looks like they've got a lot of really interesting talent to come forward in the next few years. Maybe they go up there and they win a cup or two or whatever. And you could look back at this and say the award is just part of this great run that they all were part of. Not saying that, again, Vasilevsky and McDavid's time winning awards or even Ovi's time winning awards are done. Just saying that if this is a year where we see some guys that maybe haven't won awards and maybe part of it's due to some guys missing a little bit of time, it's not the end of the world. Because guess what? If you are going to finish first, you probably had really good years, and I imagine some of these guys are set to have great years. So, what are your thoughts? Who do you think are going to go out there and win the Vizna? Who do you think is going to win the Heart? Who do you think is going to go out there and win the Calder? Obviously, the Calder is not something you can win multiple times, but I just kind of want to know your thoughts at this point in the season. And do you think McDavid is a guy that can go out there and have a really big year and come back and win the Heart? My opinion, yes, I do think he is. I do think Vassy, again, is out of the conversation, but McDavid's not out of the running. So we will see. Let me know down below in the comments. Also, please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night. And you go off hockey already. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.